Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, as you all know, from next week onwards, TCS and QT interviews will be starting from different different profiles. So guys, what I am I have come up with, I have come up in this video with TCS digital interview experience of the selected candidate. This interview happened like two three months back only in the February and March uh, month. So as make sure that you are watching this video till the end because each and every question that I'll be discussing here. is important for your interviews as well because lot of questions can get repeated for your interviews through uh, reading the previous year interview experiences you will be getting to know that what are the important topics and what are the level of questions that can be asked from you in your interviews so make sure to watch this till the end and guys previously also on this channel we have made lot of interview experiences for every profile not just for ninja detail and prime for every profile you will find the interview experiences on this channel okay this is the dedicated playlist i will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box make sure that after watching this video you watch this playlist also okay so guys now let's start this video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because uh, regularly we will be posting the actual interview experiences also from the coming week and guys do join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students okay we are uh, discussing different different companies uh, result here and what type of uh coding questions can be asked but interview experiences uh, can be asked and the timelines also we are discussing for every company which is hiring for 2025 batch okay all the links you will find in the description box now let's just start this video okay so guys the first uh, first question is tell me about yourself and guys this is the very important question as per the interview is concerned because the answer that you will give in this question will tell the interviewer about you okay you can mention your education background your technical skills your projects your internships your extracurricular activities and any achievements that you have you can tell in this particular section okay interview will be really impressed by you okay if you include all these things okay next question is what is oops now guys see, see this particular question can be asked from you in different different variety what are the four pillars of oops what are oops concepts okay so these uh, this is a most repetitive question in the interview and very important so oops stands for encapsulation abstraction inheritance polymorphism these are four concepts of oops okay what is encapsulation encapsulation means hiding internal details okay abstraction is showing only essential information inheritance means reusing features from the parent class polymorphism mean one task many forms like overloading overriding if you want to know in detail about encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism okay so see in interview interview This uh, definition can also be asked from you, and the code part or can also be asked from you. For this purpose only, I have made a dedicated video on this particular topic. I will give you the video link in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit that. Okay, for getting to know the coding part also of all these OOPs concepts. Okay, I hope this question is clear to you. Next question is implement link list. Yes, coding questions can also be asked from you in the. tc detail or prime interviews in ninja interviews coding will not be asked that much but in detail and prime roles questions can be asked from you implement link list so this is the entire code for the link list you have to make a class node then you have to insert that node into the link list and then this particular function is for the displaying of the link list you can always take the screenshot for this particular question okay and it will be helpful for you next question is can this link list be used as a stack so answer is yes see link list is the base data structure for making stack as well as queue whether it is double ended queue all these data structures can be formed using the link list only so answer is yes link list can be used as a stack now now uh, guys you will be thinking that sir uh, previous intro experiences are fine but how to prepare for the new questions what are the important topics important questions that we should prepare for the interviews so guys for this purpose only what we have on our top mid page of code bashers we have important intro it subject notes in these particular notes we have covered all the subjects which can be asked from you in any interview whether it is tcs or any other company okay all these are the only subjects which can be asked from you so okay for every subject we have around 20 to 25 important questions and their answers so c++ oops questions we have java oops questions we have python oops questions dbms questions sql queries coding questions which are very commonly asked in the interviews machine learning cloud computing questions as well as well as the managerial questions and hr questions also which can be asked from you in the tcs interviews okay so if i will show you the sample of these pdf so once you will get these notes all these subjects you will get okay if i will show you let's suppose the <coughs> sample dbms so you can see here we have a proper question 
and we have a proper answer for that question how you have to tell in the interview similarly machine learning is also a very important part in your digital and prime interviews so again we have uh, uh, gathered lot of interviews and we have gathered the commonly and important questions from each and every subject and we, we have given here so we have a proper question and we have a proper answer how you have to give in the interview similarly if you will see the java pdf also we have a proper question and the answer so all the subjects that are mentioned here okay these are first of all important for your thesis interviews and for every subject we have around 20 25 important questions with their answers if you are interested in these notes because these notes can help you for your last minute preparation as well as for revising your concepts so you can check out the links in the description box and these are at a very nominal price rupees 99 okay and the access is also lifetime so if you are interested you think these can be beneficial for you you can check out the description box and the pinned comment for the for the links now moving ahead the into the next question is write the code for bubble sort so guys i have told you see in the uh, interviews uh, sorting algorithm and searching algorithms are very important any of these questions can be asked so one of the sorting algorithm is the bubble sort and this is the code for it you can take the screenshot for it it's very simple next question is sql query so the inter asks what are the sql queries so sql queries are used to retrieve the data or update the data inside the database so some example of sql queries are these okay find max salary count number of departments select all employees these are very commonly SQL queries by these you can explain to the interviewer what are the SQL queries. <clears throat> Next is what are functions in SQL. So functions are count, max, min, average, sum. These are used on a column whereas uh, upper, lower, length and concatenate these are used on a string and then there are some date functions also now, date, date difference. So these are also the some of the functions that are inbuilt in SQL for different different types. I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is what are different types of indexes in SQL? Again, a very important question in SQL that is concerned that what are indexes? So there are clustered index, non-clustered index, unique index, composite index, okay, full text index. So all these type of index exist in the SQL. You can read each each and every one every one in detail. Okay. So the the question that we are discussing in this video is just to let you know that what are the actual questions that can be asked from you in the interview. Uh, in TCA detail will not be easy, but it will, won't be that difficult also. So you will have to prepare uh, everything and every everything, okay, in detail. I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is use of union in SQL. Now, guys, before moving towards this question, if you are watching this video till the end, till here, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. And guys, do join this Telegram group. It is dedicated for 225 plus students. If you have any doubts, you can write here. Okay, inside this Telegram group and we will be happy to help you. Okay, the links will find in the description box. Now, what does the union in SQL? Union combines result of two select queries. Okay, this is the syntax of union. I hope it's clear to you. SQL syntaxes are very important for your interviews. Next question is explain your project in detail. Okay, so see, this is just a sample answer that I have given you. Okay, but any project that you have mentioned in your resume, either it is one, two or three, explain every project in detail. Okay, what does that project do? What is the future scope of that project? Why you have chosen that project? Okay, uh, what problem it is solving? How, what challenges you face? How you overcome those challenges? Okay, at the high level, you have to explain each and everything about your project in the interview. Okay, and do mention at least two projects, technical projects in your resume. I hope this question is also clear to you. Next is explain AI and ML. First of all, guys, see where, why this AI ML question was asked in the TCA digital interview. Because the project that the candidate had was from AIML. That's why, see, this is a sample answer. This is a sample answer. But the actual project of the candidate was from AIML. That's why the question was started with, uh, uh, with AIML question, the interviewer. So any technology that you're using in your project, you should know in detail about that technology. Explain AI and ML. What is AI? What is ML? Okay. So this is a one line definition, but you should know in detail. Next is explain back propagation. Again, back propagation is a very important concept in the neural network in the deep learning so back propagation is used in training neural networks it adjusts the weight by calculating error from the output back to the input using gradients now see the technology that you're using in your projects is very important because cross questions can be asked from those technologies do not just copy paste your uh, projects from github and give to the interviewer they will ask the questions and then you will be caught so i hope this thing is clear to you now see the ai ml questions were started to guest asking uh, started to get asked so in this pdf in these notes that i have discussed earlier what we have we have machine learning 
important new question as well because we know machine learning and cloud computing are two most commonly commonly used technology in the projects of the freshers so there can be questions from machine learning and cloud computing so therefore we have already included important questions in these notes you can check out for yourself okay so links again of these notes are in the description box now moving towards the next question explain fuzzy logic again it is aiml question only next question is have you attended interviews before what if you don't get this job so again situational based question can be asked from you in the tcs so you you should tell that yes i have attended few interviews based on your experience and every interview helps you to improve this will be a positive answer if i don't get this job i will continue learning practicing and apply again with better preparation so yeah these type of answers you can give because situational based questions can be asked from you in the tcs interviews okay i hope this question is also clear to you next the last question of this interview was give the example of sql outer join example outer join query so this is the example here so this this will give all the employees even if they don't have a department so i hope now uh, <clears throat> this particular uh, interview experience is clear to you every question i have tried to explain you in detail and i have also told you about the situational based question that can be asked from you okay if you do not know still you are confused from where you should prepare for all your interviews then we have important intro it subject notes you can see here the rating is also 4.3 out of 5 and till now around 1 2000 people have bought it okay so the review of these notes are amazing and all these it subject note it subjects you will be getting in these notes and for every subject we have around 20 25 important questions any doubts you have you can write in the comment section all the relevant links whether it is of telegram group or of these notes you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment okay thank you for watching this video